Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be going over Trey Hendrickson in a Trey Hendrickson film analysis, and we're going to be talking about what he brings to the table. Before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. That would help my channel grow. And with that said, let's dive right into the video. I hope you enjoy. So before we dive into the film analysis in just a second, let's talk about the stats. And last year was a pretty good year for Trey Hendrickson, breakout season for him. He had 14 sacks. Uh, he had a 72.1 PFF player grade overall. This guy was elite when it came to getting to the quarterback. Uh, that's what he did, that's what he brought to the New Orleans Saints defense last year. And now let's dive into the film analysis. So the number one thing I see on film with Trey Hendrickson when I watch his film is I think he's got a lot of room to improve, okay? I don't think he's reached his full potential yet, and I think he can get better. And right here, you're going to see him uh, matched up on that side of your screen. He's going to be one-on-one -on, -one on the outside with the left tackle. And what he's going to do here is basically he's just going to use his hands and his athleticism. Hands and athleticism are things that Trey Hendrickson really uses a lot. I love his athleticism when it comes to edge defenders, defensive ends. Um, as well as I love his ability uh, to just, he's he doesn't give up on plays. And those are the real things I'm going to highlight in today's video. But nonetheless, you're going to see him working here. He's going to use his hands and simply just get behind, use use his length and use his ability to bend to get around uh, the left tackle over here. And you're going to just see him use a little bit of hands right there. You know, he pushes off a little bit, creates some separation, and then he's got the ability to bend because of, of his athleticism here. He's got the ability to bend around, and then he's got that short area quickness to release and then sack Justin Herbert. Overall, fantastic job here by Trey Hendrickson, really showing what he's all about. Gets off with a really good get off, and then he's able to use his hands for separation, then to get around the uh, left tackle, and then that great quickness and athleticism and closing speed to sack the quarterback. Now, this is a very different style of play when we're talking about Trey Hendrickson. Here, we're going to see him matched up right there. Um, and this is a play where simply the play breaks down and he doesn't give up on the play. So as Nick Foles, you know, the, the the pressure's coming, Cam Jordan's in his face, Nick Foles feels like he has to step up in the pocket here, so he steps up, gets outside the pocket, and this is exactly where I love to see this from Trey Anderson. He's not giving up on the play, he's right here, and he simply sees that Nick Foles is now vulnerable, and then he's got that quick area uh, ability to get to the quarterback, and he's got that short area quickness and that speed and that athleticism to close in and then sack the quarterback. Literally great job here. I mean, he's, he's you know, he's already played, you know, a solid amount of time. Uh, he's been locked up here, couldn't really get anything going. And then suddenly sees an opportunity and he's instinctive. He's like a shark. Um, he goes after it, goes out and gets Nick Foles. And that great closing speed and that athleticism is something that he really brings to the table. And I think it's something that he can even improve his game with uh, when it comes to, you know, continuing to refine his craft. But overall, that, that athleticism and that length and the speed he has are something that, you know, you can't find in your everyday pass rusher. And that's exactly what Trey Hendrickson does. And this is another good play where we're going to see Trey Hendrickson once again be really successful. We're going to see him over here matched up once again with the left tackle. And this is going to be pretty simple here. Uh, this is not a, a drop back, a, tr a traditional drop back. But really what he's doing here is he's being patient. You see that he's sitting here. He's not g going after the fake uh, to Todd Gurley. He realizes Matt Ryan still has the ball. And he's just he's just watching Matt Ryan. And then he's got, once again, he's got that short area quickness, that great twitch ability to simply be super athletic and then go chase down Matt Ryan. Look at his ability to just get there. And then this is a situation where you'll see a lot of defensive ends or edge rushers get to this situation where they're, they have the, the quarterback in their grasp. Like they're, it's, they're there, but the quarterback is sometimes able to put, pu pull out a move and then throw the ball away. But what I love here by Hendrickson is he doesn't allow that to happen. I know Matt Ryan is not super mobile and super athletic, but at the same time, Trey Hendrickson does a really good job here. Simply making it known that, you know, he's not going to get beat. So what he does here is he uses his length, he uses his speed, athleticism to simply just wrap up Matt Ryan and bring him to the ground for a sack. Really just good job by Trey Hendrickson, once again, not giving up on the play, being patient, using his eyes and his instincts to stay with the play and be in a good position. And then finally, just using that athletic ability and insane length and speed he has to get the play done and, you know, to bring the quarterback down to the ground. So overall, really good job here once again by Trey Hendrickson. And another thing I saw in Trey Hendrickson's game uh, that he really brought to, you know, 2020 compared to 2019 was his patience. And when you're an edge rusher and when you're a pass rusher, you're immediate in instinct is to go fast. You got to go fast. You got to get to the quarterback. You got to make a play. But sometimes patience is the way to do it. And this is a situation where once again, we're seeing Trey Hendrickson be patient and it 
you know, rewarding him in the long run. So we're going to see him over here on the on the far side, once again, matched up with the left tackle. Um, and we're basically going to see him, you know, as he starts to rush the passer here, he realizes that, you know, this is pretty blocked up. There's not much here. He's got to get pressure on him. So he kind of just waits around a little. He kind of just sits around a little. And as soon as he realizes there's a massive go a hole right here, uh, because the center has, you know, uh, gone to block the defensive tackle. He's really smart and patient in this way because he, he he starts moving to his to his right, right, trying to get on the outside. Realizes that's not going to be possible, and then simply just cuts back inside. And then he has a free lane at Teddy Bridgewater, and then he's got and then he's just going to wrap him up because of that athletic ability. So once again, it's him being smart. It's him being a little bit patient, not you know understanding his technique, understanding what he has to do. But once again, it's him uh, understanding and just seeing what the defense uh, can do and what the offensive line is giving him. And in, in this situation, the offensive line is giving him a massive hole. He simply takes advantage of it. You know, the running back steps up. He's completely unaware. This is a terrible job blocking by the running back. Uh, he's simply unaware of anything. He's kind of here, and then Trey Hendrickson's allowed to just go right behind. Uh, but nonetheless, like, Hendrickson, really good job being patient, seeing that that's not going to work, so he's going to try something else. And then he's got the quickness and the athleticism for that breakaway speed to work for him to go downhill and get a sack on Teddy Bridgewater. All around, really solid play here by Trey Hendrickson. And the last two plays I want to show you today are both against the Kansas City Chiefs, because I think that Trey Hendrickson had a really good game against the Chiefs, and I just want to show that. Uh, so in this situation here, you're going to see him once again, matched up with that left tackle. That was that was his primary role last year, um, you know, getting to the quarterback. He had a lot of success in that role. And basically what we're going to see him is we're going to just see him simply use his athleticism and physicality. And in this situation, he simply just pushes back the tackle, pushes him back, pushes him back, all the way back to Mahomes, and then he has that athleticism to detach and then just simply just get to the quarterback. It's that simple. Um, really good job here by Hendrickson, just pushing his guy back, pushing his guy back, using that bull rush, that pure strength to push the tackle back. And then he's, he's got the, you know, he's got that leverage and that ability uh, to just detach. You see how his arms are, he, he's created leverage, he's created some space. And that space is allowed for him to then detach there and then move to Mahomes and then sack Mahomes. Really good job here by Hendrickson using his speed, physicality, and then most importantly, athleticism and just pure strength to push the tackle back and then get to the quarterback. I mean, this is what Hendrickson does. He's a natural pass rusher. He does a good job in isolation one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, this is not a situation where uh, the other guys, I mean, this is, this is simply a four-man rush and he's winning one-on-one. -on -one. And when you're winning one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to be successful. And that's what Hendrickson did last year. He won in one-on-one -on -one situations. And there you go. I mean, he just wraps up Mahomes. It's that simple. It's really that simple because of that great bull rush and that great just strength and speed and athleticism that he, that, that he has. He's so long and lanky, but yet he's so tough um, and physical uh, to the point where he's just really, really dominant. And this is a different kind of rush when it comes to Trey Hendrickson here. Once again, working on that right side uh, with that left tackle and simply, you know how last time he beat him with the bull rush this time he just goes pure speed and tries to just go around the back and you're going to see he's just faster simply puts a little bit of a move on uh, I think that's Eric Fisher there and then just gets around him gets around gets around and then he's got the uh, awareness and the, the speed and the quickness to get there but most importantly he's got the quick thinking to you know slap down on that ball try and get to that ball and then that ends up being a fumble here big big play there um, big turnover um, for for the Saints that allows them to try and get back in this game. Obviously, you can see the game situation there. They need a clutch play defensively, and Trey Hendrickson simply uses his speed and his length to be a disruptor. And when you can use your speed and your length to be a disruptor to the level that Trey Hendrickson can, you're going to be successful because, I mean, this is just a great play by Trey Hendrickson, using his speed to get around the edge, and then using his ability to just bend a little around the tackle, using his speed and his quickness, and then the awareness to chop down on that ball get the strip sack, and then put his team back in the game. So with Trey Hendrickson going to the Bengals, it makes things interesting, right? The length and the athleticism that he brings to the table um, is really going to be influential for that Bengals pass rush. They've lost Carl Lawson. He's off to the Jets. So I think Trey Hendrickson will take that Carl Lawson-like role. I mean, he's a guy that gets after the football. He's smart. He's got length. He gets to the passer. I mean, that's what Trey Hendrickson does, and that's what I showed you in today's film. Um, so I think overall, I think this is a good move by the Bengals. You know, you get a long, lanky pass rusher like Trey Hendrickson. The only worry for me about Trey Hendrickson is he was kind of a one-year wonder. He did really well um, uh, paired up with Cam Jordan in that Saints defense, which is one of the best in the NFL. But in Cincinnati, there's not really another guy to pair him up with. There's not an, another elite pass rusher to give him next to. So 
really, it's going to be Trey Hendrickson. It's going to be the Trey Hendrickson show, and it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what he can do by himself. Uh, but nonetheless, the, the athletic ability and the length that he has are really good attributes. And if he gets stronger and he adds a little bit more speed, adds a few more power moves and, and you know, swim moves and stuff like that, different moves that he can get to the quarterback with, this guy is an instinct for the ball, and I think that's going to be really big for the Bengals' defense in 2021. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? What were your takeaways? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.